Hello friends, my name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and I am so excited that you are here with us in our breadboarding circuits tutorial. We are starting to use the Arduino Uno um, as a computer brain or the Alico Uno and we are also making these circuits in Tinkercad um, so that you can know how to program them and check your programs in Tinkercad and then go over onto this board. Now in the circuit today we're going to make sort of a LED rainbow and they're going to fade in and out which is a different way to do it than we've done in our other breadboard circuits. We have always used this half of a breadboard item here and this half breadboard is great if you want to build bigger projects but our project today is really really small and so what we can do is we can use an amazing piece of equipment that was in our Elegu kit and that is this little guy who's a shield. It has a really small breadboard on it but what will be really nice is our whole project will go into one piece because we can put these pieces of the shield together and it will stack on top of each other and you don't have sort of this two piece things where the pieces can get sort of too far apart and then our wires get disconnected. So first we're just gonna build our circuit on this little breadboard right here and then we will program it and attach the two. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add our red LED into this. Now I'm gonna be really consistent. I have my breadboard going up and down right here and I'm gonna make sure that my long leg is always on the bottom and that my short leg is always on the top. So it's sort of vertically integrated here. And I'm gonna start at the very first pinhole. And we can just plug those two legs in just like that. So now we are gonna connect our red LED to ground through a resistor. And here's the first part where we're gonna use this shield. Now the pins are all the way over here. They've got the labels on it from zero up to 13. And then right next to pin 13 is the ground and then the AR ref. So the ground is sort of one back from there. And so I'm gonna go from one down all the way up into the short leg of my LED, just like that. And that will get me to ground before we've done it on the power rail of that breadboard. And here we're just sort of skipping the power rail and plugging it straight on in. We have to plug that into the Arduino, which is right here. And that's going to go straight down into our Arduino for the ground. So that sort of wire we had in Tinkercad is just going to be with the resistor. But we do need to connect our red to our Arduino. And the red is going to connect to our Arduino through the long leg. So we can come here into the long leg. I'm going to go on the, oh, I'm going to go on this side right here. And I'm going to plug in to the first pin that can give what's called pulse wave modulation. So that, if we look here on our Elegu, there are some numbers in our digital that have these squiggly lines. I see pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 all have these squiggly lines. And those are special channels. All the other channels can either give out 0 or 5 volts. But these channels with the squiggly lines can use pulse width modulation to change sort of between zero and five. So they can give out variable values between those. And we're gonna plug our red into the first one, which is gonna be pin three. So if I look here, I've got zero, pin zero, one, two, and three. Zero, one, two, and three. And I can plug that in just like that. All right, and now we're gonna add our orange LED in. And the short leg is gonna be, again, on the top. The long leg is going to go sort of on the bottom, and I'm just going to skip one line and put it in. All right, and now we need to connect our orange to ground. Now we could do that through another resistor into this hole, but you could imagine for, you know, five LEDs, five resistors coming into this spot right here, it's going to get really, really crowded. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to tie the short legs together. Now you can use a longer jumper for that. I have these teeny tiny staple jumpers to do that. And so I'm going to go from the short leg of red into the short leg of the orange, which for me is white. All right. And I'll plug that in just like that. And that puts my ground into my orange or my white. Then I need to connect that into my Arduino. I'm going to use an orange jumper cable. The colors don't really matter, but they will help you keep organized. All right. And that's going to go from the long leg, which is the lower leg on my board. And it's going to go into the next one that has the squiggly line, which is pin five. So three, four, five. And we'll plug that in to our, what will be our Arduino board right there. Then we're going to add our yellow. And again, make sure that the long leg goes towards the bottom. You can skip 
one row just to give yourself a little bit of space. And we will connect that yellow into the ground through our orange LED, through our red LED. Sort of a little cascade here. All right, so now we're going to plug this one in, tying those short legs together, just like that. Now we need to plug our yellow into our Arduino. So I'll use my yellow, and just like the other ones, you probably guessed it, it's gonna go into the long leg on the breadboard, and it's gonna go into the next one with a squiggly line, which is right next to it, pin six, on our shield. Okay, so now let's add our next LED, which is green. We're gonna make sure that long leg is at the bottom, short leg's at the top. Hopefully you get tired of hearing that and that it just happens naturally, but that just ensures that we wired up right. Now we're gonna add another little staple and that's gonna be what connects our green to our yellow ground, which connects to our orange ground, to our red, and actually into the ground of our Arduino. I'm gonna tie these two short legs together, just like this. And we'll push that in. Now you might have a whole bigger wires here and that's fine. You can always sort of bend them down and out of the way if it's causing a problem. Now let's connect our green into our Arduino. So we're gonna go from the long leg of our green, which is the lower leg of our green, into our Arduino. And our next one that we can plug it into is pin number nine. So we'll have to count. There's this beautiful gap after pin seven, which helps you identify where your pins are. So this is seven, eight, and then one further up will be nine. Now, lastly, we're gonna add our blue in here. And again, our long leg goes down, short leg goes up. We'll skip one line and we'll plug the blue in. And now we need to connect that blue into ground. So that our current has somewhere to go. And that will do by tying it to the green short leg. Just like that. And then of course we need to plug our blue into our Arduino. So we'll take the long leg of the LED, that lower leg, and that will go into pin 10, which will be right next to where green was at. Just like that. Now our wiring is all done. And what we can do is we are gonna attach it to our um, Arduino Uno. And the way we do that is you want to line these up. There's a big gap between these two pieces and a little gap here. The big gap is between the power and the analog rails, which are on sort of the side that's next to the computer chip whereas the little gap goes with this longer piece, all right? You do wanna make sure that your bottom pin goes into this pin zero right here. It's gonna be really helpful, otherwise all your pins will sort of be off by one. And you sort of get it lined up and started in, and you're gonna rock it back and forth so that you put it in really, really gently. You don't wanna bend those legs out of the way. So you sort of get it and then rock it on in. Now we have our Arduino Uno that is ready to get plugged into the computer. We can still plug it in and access that port. And it's all wired up here and it's a project that we can take with us really easily. So now we need to add the code onto the Arduino Uno. And we're gonna do that by taking our code from Tinkercad and putting it in the Arduino IDE software. Here is our circuit that we just built in our Arduino in Tinkercad. And we can go over and click on the code. And now in a previous video, we built all of this code right here. It was a ton of code that we built to learn how to add slightly different voltages, either increasing or decreasing voltages, so that we would have sort of this fading effect in our LEDs. And if you wanna grab this code, it will be available for our patrons, but you can also check out our other video where we program this in. Um, so you can grab that code while you do it yourself, which will be a great learning opportunity. So normally when we do Tinkercad, if we can, we sort of do the blocky programming, which is looks here, but we can't put blocky programming straight onto this board. It needs to get its um, programming in C++. It can't understand blocky. But what's great about Tinkercad is if we come up here and we look at the blocks bar, you can click on that and it will say blocks and text or just text. And you always want blocks and text, because if you do just text, it will sort of throw your option for blocks away. And you'll come in here and you will take whatever code you used for your simulation, select it all and copy it. 
and then we are going to take that over into our Arduino IDE program to put it onto this board. When you open up your Arduino IDE programs and have a new one, it's going to come with a little bit of code that's right in here that's already sort of pre-made for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to delete all of that code and you're going to paste in the code that we just got from our Tinkercad simulation that we made. Then, if you want to make sure that your board is connected, you'll go up to Tools. We have a screenshot of this for you because our menus don't show up. But up in Tools, you want to make sure that the right board is operating. So they have a ton of boards you can choose from. We're using the Arduino Uno. I know some of our patrons have the Mega. You might have a different one, so you want to make sure that you select the correct board from that menu. And then you'll need to plug it into your computer to be able to select the right port for it to communicate. So let's plug ours in right here. And actually, I think it's already been programmed, but what we will do is we will hit verify to make sure that this sketch works. And it's happy, there's no problems that are down here. And then you can hit upload and this will upload it to our board. You can see our board went blank for a moment and now it started back up and this is the program that we just put on it and it is doing what we programmed it to do in Tinkercad which is sort of fades on going up and then fades off going up. You can make this do whatever you want. You could do like a twinkle effect, you could have sort of a strobe effect and you can practice that program in Tinkercad and then copy and paste it over into your Arduino IDE to get it onto your board and then have a lot of fun playing. Thank you so much for joining us in this amazing project. We hope that we will see you in our other breadboard circuits and our other Arduino Tinkercad tutorials. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Bye friends.